and welcome to Level Up VA Academy. I'm super excited that you're here and I'm super excited to guide you through your VA journey on Upwork. I hope you learn a lot from this course and that you reach out to me either right now in the beginning of this course or during the course or after the course, anything like that. Reach out to me on Instagram, shoot me a DM. If you're not following me yet, what are you doing? Go follow me on Instagram. The link is always in the footer of my website. And what else? Yeah, just reach out to me, DM me. I don't bite and don't be shy that because I really want to hear from you guys and see how you're doing with the course. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me, okay? So yeah, my name is Sylvia. If you guys don't know me, I don't know how you would have found this course, but if you don't know me, I'm Sylvia. I'm a VA and VA coach from Portugal. I've been a VA for the past five years. So I've learned a lot throughout these years and that really inspired me to now help other VAs that may just be starting. And I want to help you avoid the mistakes that I did in the past and in the beginning years of my business. I want to help you really fast track your business because it took me a long time to actually see my VA business as a business. I was seeing it more as a job. So I really want to help you with that mindset and help you fast track your way to success because you don't have to wait as long as I did to see success. And I really want to see you guys thrive. So a little bit about my history with Upwork, because this course is all about Upwork. So it's only fair that I share my own story. So I actually got started on Upwork back in 2013. So more than seven years ago now, which is crazy. And back then it was called Odesk, I know they merged it with Elance. Elance and Odesk became Upwork, uh, but that's beside the point. So I actually got started doing illustrations and designs and then did a few translation and transcription jobs. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. It was just a way I was still in high school and then in college. So for me, it was a way to gain some extra money. I probably found out about Upwork, honestly, through like searching on Google, something like how to make money online. And I found out about Upwork and back then it wasn't so crowded. So it was super easy to get in and try a few things out. Now it's a bit more complicated. That's actually also why I created this course. I want you all to have the opportunity to work on Upwork. I know a lot of people struggle with getting into the platform and getting accepted onto the platform. So if you don't have an account yet, I'll help you through that. I'll guide you through creating your account and applying to be on the platform. Um, and yeah, that's a bit of my journey. Uh, then in 2015, I actually found out about VA type jobs. I didn't know what a VA was necessarily, but I saw that I met the requirements for the job. And so I applied and eventually got it. If not, I wouldn't be here today talking to you about how to become a VA on Upwork. So yeah, that's a short spiel about my journey on Upwork. What can you expect from this course? I really want to guide you through all the steps even before getting onto Upwork. So first of all, I want you to gain clarity around your business. Even if you started your business six months to a year before, uh, I really want you to get back to basics. Don't skip this part. It's always important to do some market research and look back at your why, because I know myself when I started, I didn't do this back and work. So it was only like three or four years in that I went back and did this homework. And it really gave me clarity around my business. So don't skip this part, even if you have started your business a long time ago. Uh, I really want you to gain clarity around your business, know who your ideal client is, know you, who you help, and know how to help them, know your services, know how you can, what are their goals and all that. But we'll talk about that later. And then we'll use what you learn from your business and your client to create a stellar Upwork profile, something that stands out along the crowd and really attracts clients to you because down the line, 
clients will be coming to you. That's our goal. In the beginning, of course, you have to apply for jobs and that's something I'll help you with. I'll help you knowing what to look for, knowing what the red flags are, knowing when to apply and when not to apply. So we'll be talking all about that. And I wanted to touch on this really quickly. There are some Upwork myths that I really want to bust right now. The first one being, everyone knows this, that Upwork is only for low paying jobs or low paying gigs. And there's a lot of people from the Philippines and they are your competition. So unless you're charging $5 an hour, you won't make it. And that's simply not true. I'll help you really filter through the jobs so you can find the ones that are high paying because there, I'm not gonna lie, there's definitely a lot of clients there that just want to pay close to nothing and get everything done. But there are quality clients there and I will help you find them. There's also the notion that Upwork is just too competitive or, or too overcrowded. And yes, there's a ton of people on Upwork. That's also why they are not letting everyone in right now. They say they get around 10,000 applicants a day. So that's why they filter it so closely. Uh, and that's why you may have gotten your application declined in the past, but we're going to change that. Uh, but I find that there's just too many mediocre profiles and mediocre freelancers on Upwork. So if you try a bit less, a bit more, sorry, a bit more than the average freelancer or the average VA, you really go much further and you have so many chances to stand out amongst the crowd. And the last thing, a perk is just too expensive. Now I know they charge quite a hefty fee at the beginning, it's 20% of what you make, and now they're charging for a connect. So if you don't know, each time you apply, for a job on Upwork, you have to spend around four to six connects, I think. So, and now those are paid. But let me tell you, working on Upwork, especially if you're a beginner, it gives you so much safety and peace of mind because you're sure, you can be sure that the client will pay you and Upwork will make sure of that. So you get that safety net and you also get a platform that you can grow on because of course, if you can grow on yourself and you grow on Instagram, for example, that's also a possibility, but you can really scale up work. So I find that the fee is understandable for me. And to me, it's really beneficial and I keep all my clients on the platform, not gonna lie. Even if a client is outside of work, I encourage them to get on the platform. I'm really that crazy about Upwork. <laughs> um, but yeah, and you can also always include the fee in your rate. So let's say you want to work at $30 an hour, and I didn't want to get to you in details in this introduction, but let's say you want to work at $30 an hour. You can put your rate on the website at 30 plus 20%. I don't know how that is off the top of my head. I don't know how much that is, but you can always include that in your rate. So you're not the one paying for it, quote unquote. So yeah, those are the myths. That's my introduction, my really long introduction. Sorry, I like to rumble and I'll just shut up now and let's go on to the next module.